So if you're into security, you need to be proactive. And one of the most proactive tools out there is Microsoft Sentinel. It's Microsoft's security event and incident management platform. But just what is it and how does it work? You've come to the right place. Let's take a look. Greetings my fellow YouTubers, how are you today? Welcome to my channel, Ali Malone, Microsoft MVP, as well as a Microsoft Certified Trainer. If this is your first visit, you're especially welcome. And if you've come back, hey, well, great to see you again. All right. Hey, listen, in the past, I've done sessions on security. And if you check a look at some of my playlists, um, you can learn all about things like Defender for Endpoint, Defender for 365 as well. But there was one thing that uh, was definitely missing, and this was Azure Sentinel. Azure Sentinel is Microsoft's security event and incident management platform. Now, uh, one of the challenging aspects of traditional IT is the fact that we have lots of different log files. We're, we're working with lots of different systems. So Azure Active Directory, uh, Microsoft 365, you might have Cisco platforms, you might have Amazon Web Services, Google, you might have on-premises Active Directory systems. Um, and often trying to collate all of these logs is a really challenging, not, not only challenging, but really quite difficult. So in, in the old days, um, one of the, the challenges for administrators is obviously detecting whether you've been hacked or not. And in many cases, you often didn't know that. So Microsoft has a principle at the moment. It's called zero trust. And zero trust assumes that you've been breached. So I think they did a, a little bit of research about 75 to 78 percent of their customers had already been attacked. So once somebody tells you that, you need to start thinking about security in a very different way. And one of the tools that, in my opinion, should be the number one tool in your tool belt is Azure Sentinel. And Sentinel is Microsoft's security event and incident management platform. As well as that, it can not only detect threats, um, essentially it's got an awful lot of AI and machine learning in there. So it learns your environment. It learns what's normal. So for example, is it normal for those users to log on at this particular workstation? Or is it normal that the application that you're working with requires access to your contacts, your camera, your microphone, that's not normal, all right? So um, it would spot potential anomalies and it would flag those up to you. Now, one of the cool things about Sentinel is that it won't just bring it up or inform you that there is an issue. It can also help you remediate the issue as well, either manually where you can go in and investigate it or you can have an automated solution. So what I'm going to do today is I'm going to walk you through some of the fundamental features of Azure Sentinel. And of course, if you've got any questions, any comments about not just this or about any of my other sessions, please get them down below and I'll do my best to help you. All right. So I think without any further ado, I think it's about time we got into the demo. Let's check it out. So I'm kicking off my demo here in Microsoft Azure and I'm going into Microsoft Sentinel. And here in Sentinel, let's take a look at what we can see. Well, first of all, you can see it's monitoring 1.2 million events. Um, it's monitoring uh, alerts, 26 alerts, uh, a number of incidents. And again, you can see that it's categorizing those. You can either view them by a list here or you can view them in a chart. As you can see, um, we have a number of little spikes here, so that might generate an interest. And again, I can click into these alerts and it will give me more details on that. If there are any recent incidents, um, an alert typically will generate an incident and the incident is can be categorized by color. So it can be high alert, medium, low, and so on. 
You can also see where the data source is coming from, if there are any anomalies. So for example, if there is an unusual amount of file deletions, or if somebody is in the office on a Friday night deleting files, that's unusual. Um, likewise, you know, if there's an unusual amount of high usage with a new application, again, that could be considered uh, unusual. The one thing you need to understand about Sentinel is that it uses AI, artificial intelligence, and machine learning. So it generates logs, of course. We also have the latest news and guides. And those news and guides will keep you up to date with potential new threats. We also have a, a new search feature here. So you can do both keyword searches and you can also do uh, searches using KQL, so Custo Query Language. Now, I mentioned that we had some incidents. So you can see I can come into my incident page here and we have a number of incidents. And one particular incident, which is um, really a little bit concerning here, I've got a high incident here and it's um, multi-stage incident. So again, I'm going to click onto that and you can see that if I just zoom in here, you can see it says multi-stage incident involving discovery and potential lateral movement. Now that's concerning me because most hackers that come in will come in nice and gentle. They'll often come in on stolen credentials. And this is definitely one of the reasons to have MFA or multi-factor authentication uh, in. Now you can see that the, a lot of the product has been alerted from Microsoft Defender for Endpoint. And this is showing you how the actual products fully integrate with each other. So I can scroll down here. I can see the date and time that the alert happened. I can see the entities, so um, what they're coming in on. So they might be coming in uh, a particular user using a device, coming in on a um, IP from a particular IP address. The tech the techniques and tactics that the potential hacker is using. Of course, one of the first things that they will do is they will potentially scan your network for open ports. So things like RDP port 3389 is definitely a port that you want to shut down. Things like process discovery as well. Then, of course, they might come in and try and do a remote access. And I just mentioned that RDP book. Now, the other thing that you can also do is you can create um, an incident of the overview. You can tag the incident so that you can search it. This will take you through to the page, which potentially is just a larger version of this. Um, if there is any comments, so you can write a comment about this. I can go in and view, view the full details uh, of this alert. And the other thing I can also do here is I can run a playbook. So um, if I detect that, for example, somebody is hacking, I can create an automated response with that. And we'll come back uh, in a moment with that. Um, oh, the other thing that is really good is you can also create a Microsoft team. So this might, might be two or three of your security personnel that you want to involve um, in uh, dealing with this potential attack. So I'm going to go into the full details of this incident. And as you can see, it now shows me potential ransomware-like behavior here, which is really quite serious, obviously. Um, uh, we can see the timeline that's coming in. So you can see the scanning, anomalous connections to a device. Maybe it's an unmanaged device. Um, I can come in if there are any similar incidents. So it looks like that this could be some kind of coordinated attack. I can view the alerts. I can bookmark any important incidents. And I can also see which entities are affected here. And this is currently in preview. And of course, I can drill down into this particular user and I can see more details on this particular user if I want to. All right. So you might want to, find, for example, um, find out where they're coming in from. Now, there is a very high possibility that this is essentially come in from 
a um, stolen set of credentials or something like that. Now, again, I can drill down into any one of these. So I can go in and it tells me exactly what's potentially going on, what is being affected. And again, I can see uh, it's also not just showing me what the incident is, but it's also showing me how to remediate against this. So this is really nice. Now, because these products integrate into other the Defender set of products is Microsoft's security tools. And of course, we have Sentinel. You've also got Defender for uh, Endpoint, Microsoft 365 Defender. But the nice thing about Sentinel is it brings them all in together. Now, just looking down this um, rather scary looking list of uh, incidents here, one of the things that you'll notice is that we've assigned an owner here. Now, the nice thing about assigning an owner to an incident is, let's say, for example, you're part of a large security team. You can assign this to groups and also individual users as well so that they can go off and they can perform an, uh, uh, an investigation. Um, you can also see you can change the status of the incident as well. So at the moment, um, this one is uh, closed. You can you can close it. You can open it, uh, and you can also change the severity level uh, of this as well. Now, just scrolling down, you'll also notice down at the bottom um, we have something called investigate. And this is a really nice, very, very powerful tool. So it shows me the incident itself and along with any kind of related incidents. So I can scroll in at any point here. I can see if it's a service or if it's um, a, a user. So you can see potentially we have an issue with an unmanaged device here. And that unmanaged device is essentially generating alert. If I scroll down here, you can expand, you can go into any of these. So for example, I've got a, a user here. I can show me show if there are any related alerts to this user and I can go off and then view those. And you can see right away now it's taking me into what we call an advanced query. Now the advanced queries use something called KQL, the custo query language. And you can see here that we have a number of modules and both in tables here and also the a, a number of related queries. And custo query language uses a very, very simple uh, language. You can also create workbooks. Um, you can also go in and view things like entity behavior. We have threat intelligence, of course. And I love this. This is the meter attack. So this is basically the framework that attackers use to hack your organization. So initially an attack might come in using reconnaissance. Um, once they get initial access, executing code, are any anybody got persistence? And it will show you if there are any attacks going on and at what stage these are at. So this is a great uh, feature, by the way, that's currently in uh, preview. Now, of course, Microsoft is all about community. And you can see here that you can go into the community, you can ask questions, anything that's got the blue links, it will take you through to docs.microsoft.com. Now, as I mentioned at the beginning of the video, um, one of the very super powerful features of this uh, particular technology is that you can actually, it will connect to pretty much anything and everything. So you, there are literally hundreds and hundreds of connectors. Now, just a, a little word of warning about this. Um, if you connect to Microsoft, if you've got an EMNS, uh, Enterprise Mobility and Security, um, and you've got the appropriate license, no problem, you can go in and connect absolutely free, really, really easy to set up. So it shows you what permissions it's going to need. This one's already set up. That's why it's not letting me get in there. So basically you open the connector and you would then make that uh, connection. And by bringing in these connectors, you can essentially extend the capabilities of 
uh, Azure Sentinel. And the other thing as well is you can also integrate it with on-premises technologies as well. So for example, Windows Server and Active Directory Exchange and so on. These features are free. Now, as I mentioned, um, you'll notice that there are many third-party connectors. Just be sure to check that uh, of course, when you connect to these, that um, you have got the appropriate licenses and also some of these may incur additional charges. So just be aware of that. All right. So that's the connectors. Um, other things you can also set up, of course, is automation. Now, you can see that we have a number of playbooks. You also have a whole bunch of different templates uh, for the playbooks as well. Finally, I just want to mention Microsoft Learn or learn.microsoft.com. This is the definitive learning repository and you can literally learn anything in here. There's all of Microsoft docs.microsoft.com is here. So this is a complete repository of every piece of documentation that Microsoft has. Um, if you're looking for training, if you're looking for certification, um, you'll find everything in here from courseware to videos to hands-on labs and so much more. So if you want to learn, let's say, for example, um, Azure Sentinel, there are literally tons and tons of resources. So again, what's new in Sentinel? There we go. Um, for example, using that meter attack, the multi-stage attack detection. Um, how does it work? What does it do? There's some training. So, you know, you might think, hey, this is cool. I want to go in to do some training. And there's some, there's lots and lots of video training here. Again, all absolutely free. All right. So definitely go ahead and check this out at Microsoft Learn. So there you have it, Azure Sentinel. Isn't that cool? Not only will it help you locate anomalous data, it will help you investigate it either manually or automatically. And more importantly, it will help protect your environment in real time. And it fully integrates with all the other Microsoft Security Defender applications as well. Hey, listen, thank you so much for joining me this week. If you've enjoyed it, bump the like button. It really does make a difference to my channel. And of course, if you've got questions, comments about this or any of my other sessions, please just get them down below. And if you've not subscribed, of course, bump that subscribe button. It would be great to have you on board. All right, that's it for this time. You stay safe and I'll see you soon. Take care. Hey, thanks so much for dropping by today. Here's a couple of videos that you may enjoy. And while you're here, go ahead, click on the subscribe button and you won't miss out.